We are still waiting on an update this morning, but we have seen many deputies here uh, throughout the morning. You can see some of them waiting here outside of the emergency room. Uh, they are still looking for this suspect as well. And we do have video that shows what happened. We'll show that to you now. A man is seen walking towards the officer's SUV or the deputy's SUV. Investigators tell us it seems the suspect was going to pass them, then turned and fired multiple shots while the two were parked. This was just before 7 o'clock last night. The suspect Suspect then ran off. Now, this was near the Blue Line Metro Station on the 100 block of East Palmer. Um, we're told the deputies were working with the department's Transit Services Bureau. A 24 year old male deputy and a 31 year old female deputy were both hit. The deputies were taken here to St. Francis Medical Center and were conscious when they got here. They both did have surgery, and as of the latest, they are both in critical condition. We're told the female deputy is a wife and mother of a six year old son, and both were fairly new to the department, only sworn in 14 months ago. As for the suspect, still on the loose, and there is not a detailed description of him at this time. Uh, the sheriff spoke out after last night's shooting. These are real people doing a tough job, and uh, it just shows uh, just the dangers of this job in the blink of an eye. Seeing somebody just walk up and just start shooting on them, it, it's, uh, it pisses me off. It dismays me at the same time, and I, there's no pretty way to say it. Protesters also showed up at the hospital last night. According to the sheriff's department, they blocked the emergency room entrance and exit and were yelling anti law enforcement rhetoric. Uh, two arrests were made one man who failed to disperse and a member of the media. She has since been released and said she will make comments later. Now, back here live, obviously a really difficult situation for sheriff deputies uh, waiting to hear about their fellow deputies out here. Uh, they are asking anyone with any information to contact the sheriff's department. Uh, the FBI has also asked or said they are willing to help with this investigation if need be. But on that, uh, once again, we are seeing quite a few deputies out here in support. That's